Poems Every Child Should Know, edited by Mary E. Burt. Section 35. Read for LibriVox.org by Kara Schallenberg. This section contains the following poems. The Death of Napoleon. How Sleep the Brave. The Flag Goes By. Hohenlinden. And My Old Kentucky Home. Part 3. Continued. The Death of Napoleon. The Death of Napoleon by Isaac McClellan, 1806 to 1899, was yet another of the good old reader songs taught us by a teacher of good taste. We love those teachers more the older we grow. Wild was the night, yet a wilder night hung round the soldier's pillow. In his bosom there waged a fiercer fight than the fight on the wrathful billow. A few fond mourners were kneeling by, the few that his stern heart cherished. They knew, by his glazed and unearthly eye, that life had nearly perished. They knew by his awful and kingly look, by the order hastily spoken, that he dreamed of days when the nations shook, and the nation's hosts were broken. He dreamed that the Frenchman's sword still slew, and triumphed the Frenchman's eagle and the struggling Austrian fled anew like the hare before the beagle. The bearded Russian he scourged again, the Prussian's camp was routed, and again on the hills of haughty Spain his mighty armies shouted. Over Egypt's sands, over Alpine snows, at the pyramids at the mountain, where the wave of the lordly Danube flows, and by the Italian fountain. On the snowy cliffs where mountain streams dash by the Switzer's dwelling, he led again, in his dying dreams, his hosts, the proud earth quelling. Again Marengo's field was won, and Gina's bloody battle. Again the world was overrun, made pale at his cannon's rattle. He died at the close of that darksome day, a day that shall live in story. In the rocky land they placed his clay, and left him alone with his glory. Isaac McClellan how sleep the brave! How sleep the brave who sink to rest, By all their country's wishes blest, When spring with dewy fingers cold Returns to deck their hallowed mould, She there shall dress a sweeter sod Than fancy's feet have ever trod. By fairy hands their knell is rung, By forms unseen their dirges sung. There honour comes, a pilgrim grey, To bless the turf that wraps their clay, and freedom shall a while repair, To dwell a weeping hermit there. William Collins The Flag Goes By The Flag Goes By is included out of regard to a boy of eleven years, who pleased me by his great appreciation of it. It teaches the lesson of reverence to our great national symbol. It is published by permission of the author, Henry Holcomb Bennett, of Ohio. Hats off! Along the street there comes A blare of bugles, a ruffle of drums, A flash of colour beneath the sky. Hats off! The flag is passing by. Blue and crimson and white it shines Over the steel-tipped ordered lines. Hats off! The colours before us fly, But more than the flag is passing by. Sea fights and land fights, grim and great, Fought to make and to save the state. Weary marches and sinking ships, Cheers of victory on dying lips. Days of plenty and years of peace, March of a strong land's swift increase. Equal justice, right and law, Stately honour and reverend awe. Sign of a nation, great and strong, Toward her people from foreign wrong. Pride and glory and honour, All live in the colours to stand or fall. Hats off! Along the street there comes a blare of bugles, a ruffle of drums, and loyal hearts are beating high. Hats off! The flag is passing by. Henry Holcomb Bennett Hohenlinden On Linden, when the sun was low, all bloodless lay the untrodden snow, and dark as winter was the flow of Iser, rolling rapidly. But Linden saw another sight— when the drum beat at dead of night, commanding fires of death to light the darkness of her scenery. By torch and trumpet fast arrayed, each horseman drew his battle-blade, 
and furious every charger neighed to join the dreadful revelry then shook the hills with thunder riven then rushed the steed to battle driven and louder than the bolts of heaven far flashed the red artillery but redder yet that light shall glow on linden's hills or stained snow and bloodier yet the torrent flow of iser rolling rapidly tis morn but scarce yon level sun can pierce the war-clouds rolling dun where furious frank and fiery hun shout in their sulphurous canopy the combat deepens on ye brave who rush to glory o'er the grave wave munich all thy banners wave and charge with all thy chivalry few few shall part where many meet the snow shall be their winding-sheet and every turf beneath their feet shall be a soldier's sepulchre thomas campbell my old kentucky home the sun shines bright in the old kentucky home tis summer the darkies are gay the corn-tops ripe and the meadows in the bloom while the birds make music all the day the young folks roll on the little cabin floor all merry all happy and bright by and by hard times comes a knockin at the door then my old kentucky home good night weep no more my lady oh weep no more to-day we will sing one song for the old kentucky home for the old kentucky home far away they hunt no more for the possum and the coon on the meadow the hill and the shore they sing no more by the glimmer of the moon on the bench by the old cabin door the day goes by like a shadow o'er the heart with sorrow where all was delight the time has come when the darkies have to part then my old kentucky home good night the head must bow and the back will have to bend wherever the darky may go a few more days and the trouble all will end in the field where the sugar canes grow a few more days for to tote the weary load no matter twill never be light a few more days till we totter on the road then my old kentucky home good night weep no more my lady oh weep no more to-day we will sing one song for the old kentucky home for the old kentucky home far away stephen collins foster end of section thirty five Read by Kara Schallenberg on October 25th, 2006 in Oceanside, California.